What's up dudes? Chooch back with another video and today we're looking at this right here. We got a sick unboxing and these are <laughs> these are my absolute favorite boxes to get in the mail right here. You know what it is. So anyways, get into this thing, check it out, see what it comes with, first impressions, everything, and uh, get it out there on the trails and we'll, we'll see how it goes. So this is the new Gotway M Super Pro. This, this wheel has actually more watt hour than the Kingsong 16X right here. So this is the M Super Pro right here, right out of the box. Looks really, really good. This wheel is sick. It has the old school tire on here. I love the old school tire. This is from the uh, M Super V3S Plus. They ran the same exact wheel on here, and it's called the uh, the V Rubber makes uh, one, and then uh, CST makes one, and they're exactly the same. But I just replaced this tire and put it on my um my old M Super. And it, it's great, man. This thing is awesome on road, off road. And the cool thing about it is, like riding in snow and water, it really deflects it. Just like in a car, you know how you have that tread pattern in your car where it deflects the water away. It, it really works well for snow, slush, and everything like that. On the front right here, right off the bat, one thing we can look at is the uh, headlights. So these these headlights are, ex are oh Lord, it's already talking to me. These headlights are extremely bright on this wheel. And they're actually so bright, they, um, I mean, they put out a little bit of heat, but there's a fan behind the headlights. So you know that these headlights are good because, I mean, they, they put in a full fan behind it. And you can tell these are, I mean, way better. I think one of them is better than the um, headlight on the MSX. You know, there's the normal MSX, and then there's two of them on here. So, I mean, you're good to go with lighting on this thing. I still like headlights and whatnot, but that's pretty sweet. You got your standard LED lighting, just like on the just like on the um, old MSX model on the front and on the back. But the new kind of the new upgrade, which I really like, is this new like halo effect on the head, on the uh, tail light. Uh, I know some of the later MSXs had this cool halo effect on here, but all the MS uh, M Super Pros are going to have this this new upgraded tail light, which is sweet. It has blue blinking lights instead of your standard green or red ones. The uh, red ones are on the M Super V3 green on the um, M Super X, but this thing's sweet guys. A USB port up here, just like a, with all the other standard wheels where you can charge your phone or whatever. Uh, these are a lot better than they used to be. This will actually substantially charge your phone. The old uh, wheels, I mean, it was like, I think it was like two, like two amp output and it would take forever to charge your phone, but this, these actually will charge it and do the trick. And on the side right here, this button, it, I think this is your lift sensor if I'm not mistaken. So you just pull that in and it's not going to take off on you. Because if you don't pull that in, let's see what it does. Yeah, it takes off. Oh, shit. Yeah, see, see, if you pick it up without pulling it, pushing in this button, it'll just take off. So if you're going upstairs or something, going up a flight of stairs or whatnot, you want to just push this in, disengage it, and then you can pick it up without it taking off on you. So that's pretty helpful. You don't have to cut it off every time. Sit it back down, and then you're good to go. The pedals come already black on most of the models they're um silver i think it looks a lot better with the black pedals on the side right here i really like the look of it um they do they'll, they'll get scuffed up over time on the sides right here but i really like the look of the uh the black pedals the magnets are strong on this side right here for the flip up effect that's really nice looking back around to this side you got your speakers on the side right here so i i, I really this is something i I wanted to check out the feel. So this is actually like, this is actually like a speaker. You know, like if you took a speaker grill off of a, like a little Bluetooth speaker or something. This is what it feels like. I mean, something could puncture this. I really feel like it could. I mean, it's it's kind of out of the way, so your your foot's not going to go in there. You know, I mean, you'd have to deliberately stick something in there to to mess with it. Let's connect this thing up to Bluetooth real quick. Gotway music, Gotway music. Oh no, dude. The only wheel that's ever impressed me, so you're gonna find out right now, I've never heard this. The only wheel that I will ever ride with without my JBL, I, I ride with the JBL Flip 5 in my backpack all the time, and whenever I'm not filming videos, that's usually how I ride around. I always ride with a Bluetooth speaker just to give people a heads up that I'm behind them, and it really works well. It's not being obnoxious or anything. It, it basically is letting other people use one of their one of their five senses you know your hearing is great 
uh, for, for knowing where people are at. Oh, I get a Mike Bloomberg ad, schools. what do you know? And took on the NRA. I would have paid a million dollars on that. Alright, let's see. It's not bad, it's not bad. But we'll have to get out there once you get your helmet on though and you're cruising around in the wind and all you got city traffic, that's whenever you gotta like you know tell tell what what's going on with it. But it's not bad at all. I mean the speakers, the bass on it is definitely nothing there that's gonna be impressive or anything, but the thing with the uh, music on here, I think it's a, a great safety feature, and if you don't normally ride with a Bluetooth speaker, I suggest, you know, just playing some soft music riding around town, you know? And especially on a wheel like this, it'll give people a heads up, you know? You, even, say, if someone has a window down in their car, which a lot of people do, you know, during the springtime in the city and whatnot, going slow through the city, people have their windows down, and it's also a good thing to be heard by other cars, you know? Whenever people have their windows up, that's not really anything you can do about that but I think the the speaker is definitely a good thing and I mean Gotway figured out I mean, you can't if you go putting a speaker inside of this plastic shell and start covering it up you know it's gonna get distorted and sound bad so they had to put it on the outside in some way and if they last they last if they don't you know the speakers I think are kind of um, it really doesn't matter on the you're getting a Gotway for the performance you know you're not getting if, if you want a, a wheel for the features, you go with a 16X, you know, wh whatnot. But if you want a wheel for performance, that's why you're getting a Gatway. You're not getting a Gatway for, you know, for the for the built-in speakers on it, you know? So, that, that's my opinion on it. I think the speakers on the King Song are definitely better. Trolley handle feels quite robust. I want to see Gatway, um, not, to, not to be critical on this, but I think one, one point, the, tr the trolley handle on these are great. Like the, the whole sturdiness of the back right here, everything's wonderful. The one thing I, I want to see them improve though is this handle on the back. A lot of guys are 3D printing these and using uh, like way better plastics. I'm, I'm not too um, keen on the whole 3D printing lingo or whatnot, but they're using way better plastics than, um, than this right here. And getting way better results with it, you know. There, I mean, people are literally building 3D printing a handle that's 10 times better than this. Uh, it's it's not bad, but it's just not built well, you know. If you forget to put this down or something, all the way, you can crash and uh, knock it out. But I mean, you just have to put it down all the way. I, I'm the idiot that's always putting something around the back right here and trying to hook a first aid kit to it or hook a, a bandana on the back or something like that and then I have it sticking up a little bit and then I fall and then that's what happens but anyways I, I think it's a sick wheel man I, I can't wait to get it out there and just see what the torque and the difference in the torque is one thing that I want to see uh, mainly is like on hill climbs you know when you're when you're when you don't have momentum going into like a trail or a hill climb or corner like that if you have like one of the, the big you, M Super 19 inch wheel or anything like that, um, it it takes a little bit to creep up that hill, you know? Um, if you're on something like the MCM5 and you come around a corner in the woods, you're doing like a little woods run, and then you come up to a hill, that little tiny uh, diameter wheel would just shoot up it, you know, no problem. And so I think having more torque in a wheel like this will really, really make it a fun off-road wheel. I think. Um, I think the king of off-road reels before was like the um, M Super X, uh, just standard 84 volt, uh, 1600 watt hour, just because you had a lot of range, you don't need a ton of speed in the woods, you know, and you could just go forever on that wheel. It, it, was, it was just a smooth ride in the, in the woods and whatnot. The 100 volt's fun and, and for flying around town and everything, but you eat battery like crazy in the woods on a uh, on the uh, 100 volt MSX, the old one. So this one now, that one was, my old MSX over here is uh, 1,230 watt hours. So this is 1,800 watt hours. Uh, being a 100 volt wheel, I mean, I think that's going to be everything. You know, you can have a ton of fun always on the top end of it. You can ride everywhere on the top end of this thing for, I mean, most people don't ride 40, 50 miles at one time. I mean, there's a handful of guys out there that do, but just, you know, average like one day treks around town heading up to work, heading back, whatever, you're going to be able to go top in on this thing both ways. And it's never going to throttle you. You're never going to run out of battery and, and get, uh, you know, like the King Song throttles, the 50% is like that. I, I mean, this thing is just, you'll be able to go way faster on this thing for way farther, I feel like, on this wheel. So it doesn't have all those key little features and stuff like that, 
but this wheel will definitely definitely go more miles at a higher speed anyways dudes i can't wait to get this thing out there we got some really good weather and uh get the cameras charged up get geared up get out there get this thing on the road and have some fun with it guys it's a good looking wheel for sure the tire is sick check it out so this is the like i was saying the old school tire Lo love this tire. I mean, it's great. Like, if, you, if you've never ridden the old V3S and you j you just have the um, M Super X, the um, M Super X is like a street queen tire on there. You try to take that thing in any slick mud or anything like that, that tire is going, I mean, it's it's fun. You can slide a little bit, but I'm telling you, that thing's a street queen. So, but this this can go on, on, on both fronts. So, you got this nice little, like, middle pattern right here where it's, uh, this is, for like straight riding when you're straight up and down riding you're just hitting this middle contact point which is great for battery life and then if you want to get gnarly on the trails get uh, into carving and whatnot this is where all your grip is on the side so i love the way it works out like if you want to just ride straight up it doesn't eat your range up having this off-road this tire but it is it is nice once you get off-road because you can throw it down in the corners and stuff and have some some good traction here which is sick i love it so this is the uh, cst tire right here and um, like I said, V-Rubber also makes the same one. Um, you can you can find these tires on eBay. You can find them on E-Wheels, everything like that too. So if you do want to change your old MSX tire, you can put this on there. And I kind of I kind of like it. The um, the headlights are super sick, guys. It's ridiculous. So that's good. And you got a ton of battery to pack back it up with. So you got like 1,800 watt hours. You don't have to worry about ever running your battery dead having the lights on or anything like that even with these high powered lights with a fan behind them and everything like that i think i mean you can run this thing forever so that's sweet cycle through the lights here so you got it how exactly okay i guess you can go in your app and cycle through the lights and all that stuff a little bit better because with the old model which it basically you did two clicks you you did that to turn the lights on that's your strobe and then the next clicks after that would change these lights down here. But it's kind of different. You have to go all the way through the whole kind of thing to change it with this button up here on the lights. Anyways, that's pretty cool. I want to go into the app real quick, guys. Let's go into the app real quick and check it, check some stuff out in there. I'll be right back. All right, so we're in the Gatway app now. We got her fired up. Got the Gatway app open. It's probably not going to, we're probably not going to be able to see this. I don't know if I've updated my Gatway app in a while. I think I got the old school client, but it still works out pretty good. Put it in powerful. It's set to comfort mode. It's set to powerful mode. It's a set to shocking model. I love that. Oh, this is the new Gatway app. Okay, so this this is a new Gatway app. I've got every Gatway app of every Gatway there ever was. I was wondering, dude, that looked a little bit old school. That looked like ancient, dude. That looked like ACM version one days right there. Let's check this out. Going to Gatway connection successful. LED. Okay, this is so you can do all your LED settings in the new Gatway app. Yeah, that that I don't know how I have two Gatway apps on here. That's weird. So yeah, you can go. They have look all the way down. That's how you do your LED settings on there. There's just different modes like this one, two, three, four, five, all the way down, and they all do like all do different things. So that's like off. This is uh on. This is uh. Okay, cool. So that's one thing I really like about this. So check this out. You see in the front right here, you have all the lights set to white, and then in the back you have all the lights set to red. And like I like that because I don't want I don't want to be riding around town looking like a Jolly Rancher flashing like lights all the time. You know, I like something that's actually practical. You know, so this is nice. You got red in the back and the white in the front right here, and you're not gonna be looking like you're heading to the chocolate factory. So let's do let's. Let me see, what else can you do on here? LED 1, LED 2, LED 3. Is that just off or is that lit in the back? LED 4, that's just white and red. It's pretty cool. I like, I like being able to set it like this though, you know, without having to have the LED board, being able to set everything red in the back, everything white in the front. So it makes sense, you know, like it makes it makes sense like coming down the road at night That would look look like something's coming. You know, you got two headlights up front You have this drop down right here and then in the back you got lighting as well. So that's sweet I do this wheel looks sweet. It's it's a sleek looking wheel and let's check out the uh, let's up close check out these speakers again one more time Always do it on my own. 
alone, so I gotta get through it. Sounds and the only good. thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, song never slow till I finally heavy. prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'm gonna keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong. Self to be the best, die with no regrets. Live with every breath, see my message start to spread. And I have so many dreams. When you hit your teens, I think really what it seems. Try to find out what it means. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only All right, guys, so the uh, charger that comes with the new M Super Pro is this bad boy right here, which I, I love this. I've been envious of all my buddies that have these chargers, and they're sweet. So these are the rapid chargers. It's, it's a rapid charger, but it's nice and compact. It's not near as big as the old, like, big, bulky, heavy uh, rapid chargers. So this thing is super quick, super compact, and con convenient, and it'll stick right in the backpack. There's your specs on the charger right there if it will focus here we go yeah so this thing's sweet all right so let's do a lift test real quick on this thing and see what speed it tops out on so i'm just going to pick it up and see what this one actually with the lift test on this one does it looks terrible with the uh, lighting here we go all right so check out right up here and we'll see what the lift test says Seventy eight. Yep, seventy eight. So that's pretty much what everybody's saying. Seventy eight kilometers per hour on the lift test. Not bad. I'm not sure what the um let's actually do that real quick. Let's compare my one hundred volt MSX. Let's compare that let's do it real quick. So that's that's the M Super Pro right there. Now let's compare my one hundred volt MSX to it. All right, so this is the 100 volt MSX. All right guys, so now, MSX 100 volt, 1230 watt hour, and now I'm gonna do the lift test with this real quick. And let y'all see the difference. So the MSX 100 volt is almost 10 to 11 kilometers per hour faster um, on the, uh, before cutoff, so that's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. Might need to keep these things in the closet. Might need to keep the old MSXs in the closet and get another one because you never know how long they're gonna make these bad boys. Oh man, that's a fast wheel right there, compared comparatively. Wow, that's pretty crazy. So the other one was 78. That one was 87 kilometers per hour before shut off. So that's pretty wild, pretty wild. I wanna, I wanna get it out and see if it feels, feels slower. We'll definitely see. Give y'all a quick look around this wheel. Look all around the components of it. Look at those speakers. Pedals. Light. Good looking wheel, really good looking wheel.
makes me ride so good. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it.